What I would say about selection boards is, in my 32 years in the Navy, it is the fairest process and the cleanest process and the most honest process that I have ever experienced in my life. It is very, very, very pure. It's not, you know, let's throw up the records and whoever lands on the table, those are the ones we're going to select. Everything is pure. Uh, it's 100%. We take an oath at the selection board. We raise our hand and we swear to all of that. So, I want everyone to know that this is a very clean process. You are responsible for maintaining your record. You must maintain your record. Um, because that's all we're looking at, is your service record and what you send us to the board. Only you can communicate with the selection board. You must make sure that if you're sending something to the board, it's explained well. Fill in the gaps. If something's missing, tell us why. If you've done something odd in your rotation, like back-to-back -back staff duty um, or the same platform in the same area for three tours, you must tell us why. Uh, put it in your eval. It should be in your eval that says transferring to another staff duty down the road because specifically requested by the chief of staff for their expertise for a mission they're coming up and working on in the next 18 months or would have gone to sea duty you know, kind of a deal. That tells the board why you did that. Um, so send in your stuff that you've done that's not in there. Send in corrections. Let us know you've done a correction letter to the boards you know, or to PERS to get something uploaded. Uh, go to the briefs, go to the briefs, go to the briefs. In most fleet concentration areas or at commands, someone like us is doing a brief for you on how to write enlisted evals, how to put together a package, uh, if you're going up for a selection board and you're a chief, senior chief, or going up for master chief, sit down with someone who has sat on a board or call them. I get email packages all the time from people I've worked with in the past that say, hey, Fleet, can you look at my package? Here's my letter to the board. Am I saying this correctly? Um, so talk to the people that are out there. Um, really quick, I get a lot of questions, same question from a lot of sailors. Why can't the board tell me why I wasn't selected? We can't. There are thousands of you. And so we can't do an individual brief with you, but predominantly because what the selection board looked at this year may not be what they're gonna look at next year. So if I tell you this and this was something you didn't have and we were looking at, then that's all you're gonna work on for next year. And then next year, next year's board's gonna look at this and this and you avoided it. Sustained superior performance is key. I thought that was a load of hokey when I was coming up and growing up in the Navy and people would say to me, you know, Ortloff, it's sustained superior performance. It doesn't matter where you're assigned. It's what you do while you're there. You must fill in those blocks of the eval. You must fill in those blocks of the brag sheet. You have 12 months to show us in a documented format, cause and effect, meeting all these things. It's up to you. How can we help you? We can help assign you collaterals and so forth. You must do this. It's not a secret. So you must take care of yourself in your progression. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.